Hello friends, how's it going? I'm Alex Arks and today I'm bringing you another Destiny video. Um, I apologise, I haven't uploaded anything in a week. Um, I've just been really busy with Christmassy stuff and trying to get you guys a very special gun that I'm going to show you today. Um, yes, that I'm going to show you the Husk of the Pit. Um, <laughs> this, this beast right here. Now, You've probably heard a lot about it. Um, if you haven't, um, basically, uh, Bungie have added a special weapon to the game. Now, with the initial raid on on the in the Vault of Glass, uh, there was a, an exotic uh, fusion rifle you could get. This one here, the Vex Mythoclast. Now, this was uh, very specific to the Vault of Glass. You had to. It was a random drop for completing it on hard. Um, and quite a few people got it, not so many people did, but this was the, the exotic special fusion rifle that you can only get through the hard vault of glass raid. Um, now, Bungie have added one for the the new DLC, the Dark Below. Uh, so, the Crotter's End, it's, it's, it's got a kind of, it's got a hive feel to it. Uh, anyway, they've gone about getting this gun a totally different way. Instead of just basically completing the raid on hard, which you can't do yet, that comes out in January, but completing Crota's End on hard and getting the Necrochasm, which is what it's called, um, instead you actually <laughs> you you find randomly a white auto rifle called the Husk of the Pit. You then have to level that up, and then you can actually upgrade it and to a to a higher stage weapon so basically you you can upgrade it from a white common weapon up to a legendary weapon and then you level that up again from a legendary to the exotic and then you eventually have necrochasm the hive specific exotic weapon so anyway uh like i was saying it starts off with husk of the pit now to actually get the husk of the pit, you need to basically just kill uh, blade wielders, uh, sword bearers in on earth or moon, either in patrol or in missions. Now there is a really easy way of doing this um, that I will show you just now. So guys, what you're going to want to do is, is you're going to want to travel to earth and find the mission, the Fist of Crota. Now Bungie recently re-added this. Um, it was a, a a story mission in the quest line for the Dark Below DLC, but you couldn't go back and do it again. However, Bungie have added it. Uh, so basically what you do is you load this up, any difficulty, it doesn't matter, and you just ride your sparrow past all the guys at the start, and you find this group of uh, acolytes praying to the Crota. Uh, you kill them off, and then the Blade of Crota spawns here, and you can see there he drops the Husk of the Pit for me, and it shows up like that. It doesn't drop on the ground, it shows up as a, as a weapon instantly in your inventory. Just like a drop in a raid, for example. Now, like I said, it doesn't matter what difficulty you do this on. Um, you don't need any kind of glimmer materials on, you don't need a black wax idol. Um, you just have to kill Blades of Crota, that's the only way you can get this thing. And this mission, the Fist of Crota, is a guaranteed spawn for a blade. He's always there in the refinery every single time you load up. So that's the only reason why people grind this level out. You could get this in patrol, but the spawns for the Blades of Crota are a lot less kind of regular and fixed. So, like I say, just concentrate on doing this mission. Kill the Blade of Crota. Uh, if he doesn't drop it for you, just go back to orbit, load up the mission again, hit your sparrow, fly past all the enemies, and just rinse and repeat, basically, until you get this drop. It took me a, a few hours to get. Some people have reported getting it, like, after the first couple of kills on blades. Some people still haven't seen it days in. Um, you just got to keep going, and you will get this weapon. Um, it is all just luck at the end of the day. So, guys, as you can see... Uh, it can take a lot of grinding to get the husk of the pit, but once you have it, it is it is still rubbish, as you also saw. So, basically, you get it, and you have one upgrade uh, available to you to begin with, and this first upgrade is called Cannibalism. Now, basically, it's hive kills. Uh, to get this uh, bit of completion, you have to kill 500 hive with this weapon. Now, it is a very weak, it is a very rubbish weapon to begin with. 
Uh, there is only one really easy place to grind this and get the hive kills, and that is on the first level on the moon. Um, everyone knows it by now. It's uh, we've awoken the hive. Um, that classic line. Uh, yeah, where you awake the hive. Um, about twenty, thirty thralls come charging out. You kill them. You wipe. And then the checkpoint is just basically as the door opens again. So you just keep doing that. You can get your, your 500 kills really easy. And then you can complete this step here. Uh, to then upgrade it, you need an embalming orb. Now, I have got one of these picked up, but I will not be showing you the upgrade. Uh, not in this video anyway. Um, you To get an embalming orb, you will need to actually get Eris Morn, the mission giver for the DLC up to rank level 3 and then you can buy both ruined cores and an embalming orb um, so once you've got yourself up to rank 3 by completing the bounties chucking them in um, it also helps to have a couple of these items um, you can get like a percentage boost I think from having these on I'm not too sure um, I just run about with all class items and all kinds of colors and stuff on but um, yeah, um, once you got yourself up to level 3, you can then trade in some black wax black wax idols for an embalming orb. Um, and then you put that into your gun. Um, sack it, I'm going to do it. I'll do it just to show you guys. So you put your embalming orb in. And that evolves that into the Idon Alley, uh, ally, um, which is now a legendary auto rifle with significant power behind it. So this is now a very usable weapon. Um, so once again, you're going to have to go through, level it up, purchase all these upgrades, and then eventually you'll get down to this last one, which is Burgeoning Hunger. And that actually has the same icon as the Husk of the Pit did for that first upgrade. So once again, this is going to involve probably killing a hell of a lot of Hive, um, to fulfill this level and then you need an item to upgrade it to the necrochasm the exotic version of this weapon you're going to need a, an item called the crux of crota now at this point it is impossible to actually get that because it's a rare drop from crota on the hard difficulty of the raid now, the hard difficulty hasn't as, uh, hasn't actually been released yet. That comes out some point in January. So, no one's going to have a fully upgraded um, Necrochasm, or even a Necrochasm full stop. Everyone uh, should, hopefully, by the time the hard raid is released, have an Eidolon ally, ally um, actually leveled up to the point where all they need is the Crux of Crota. There's plenty of time, I mean... It could take you two or three attempts at killing the, the sword bearer, or it could take you hours and hours and hours like it did for me. But once you've got one, one is all you need. Just remember, don't dismantle it. And just just level it. Just power level it if you can. Um, this gun is going to be massive. Um... And it's it's just it's just cool. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a go. I'm gonna start leveling this up uh, for uh, for January for when that hard raid comes out. Um, I'll definitely be getting my hands on that necrochasm, and I will be giving you guys a, a short wee video. Well, not a short one, maybe, but uh, you know, a little video just showing it once I've got it. Um, but I think there will be a race on as soon as that hard raid gets released. I think as many people as possible will be running the raid trying to get that Crux of Crota and getting the Necro Chasm. <laughs> anyway guys, I hope this video has been informative and has showed you the best way of getting hold of the Husk of the Pit. And just, you know, how to level it, what to do with it, how to get it up to your Eidolon ally. And then what you need to do and what needs to happen before we can even get the necro chasm anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed this video i've been alex arx and i will catch you guys in my next video uh, bye <laughs>